My husband was a member of the State Department Foreign Service. He was fluent in German, fluent in Spanish. I remember him always enjoying teaching us how to ride bicycles and planting pansies when we were little, taking us on strolls. He was also a wonderful support to me when I wanted to go to law school after he had retired. Curiously enough, I was the reason that we got the long-term home health insurance because I'd had a very serious melanoma operation. We were a bit worried that it, it might return. So um, I thought, well, we really ought to look into this. We looked at all of the different elements that would go into the healthcare delivery system, the cost of care, the probability of receiving care, uh, their children lived in the geographic area and what support they may be able to provide if they became ill. And then we looked at the affordability of the insurance coverage and then selected individual policies based on the overall quality and value. My husband was diagnosed with Alzheimer's and uh, I decided that I wanted to keep him home as long as I could, as long as he knew where he was, who he was, who I was. A policy provided for a team to come out from the hospital, nurses and social workers, to evaluate what we needed in the way of safety devices in the home and uh, anything else that we might need in order to keep him home. I was able to keep him here with the home health aides coming in every day, but I took care of him at night. Some nights she wasn't able to get any sleep at all because my dad had started to roam the house, get dressed at three in the morning, and uh, try to leave the home and walk out. So I began looking for a nursing home. Uh, I found uh, what was supposed to have been the best nursing home in the area, uh, but I thought it was too impersonal. Luckily, my mom found the, the group home. It was a small house with eight patients in different stages of uh, dementia. Each evening when I would come home from work, I would go over to visit my husband. And I saw that he was getting very good care. And uh, I was really pleased that, uh, that I did have the insurance to cover that. It was very difficult to see such an intelligent charming man deteriorate. I think that my work was what kept me on an even keel, and I knew he would want me to continue the work. If the Fosbergs did not have their long-term care coverage in force, Mrs. Fosberg would have needed to provide more informal care support at home. Look, the facility is already starting to bug a little bit. Mm -hmm. I'm sure I would have had to spin down and sell the home. We didn't have to go into Medicaid, didn't have to bankrupt ourselves, and yet he received excellent care. Where was this time? I think we all have a lot of peace of mind, both she and the rest of the family, that my dad's last years were as dignified as possible, and that he was surrounded by a few caregivers who were extremely gentle and uh, very involved with him. We wouldn't have found these people without the group home and the insurance.